Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to part number three of my Final Fantasy IX playthrough. So, if you missed the last part, we are just outside the good old village of Delhi. And, well, we sort of spent way, way, way too long trying to do the ragtimers. But, at least all four questions for disc one are done now. So we can just nice and calmly relax, go through the rest of disc one until we get to Grand Dragon farming because you know you've you've got to farm Grand Dragons on disc one. Like at this point, it's like it's like a rule of Final Fantasy IX playthroughs. You know, it's just it's one of those things. And another thing about Final Fantasy IX is it takes forever to flee from battles. Okay, let's go and rest in the village. Maybe the inn is this way. Oh, do we have to? Yeah. Okay, you go see the windmill then. It's like, me and Dag will just go into the uh, the hotel on our own. So like, don't worry, don't worry, we got this. I mean, unfortunately we do have the uh, big old bucket of rust with us, but, well, you know, I mean, there are, there are ways of dealing with him. You know, hint, hint. And look, man. Dirty little pervert there, just staring at Dagger. Where will I, what, what do you mean, where will you be staying? You'll be staying right next to me, of course. Yeah, I'm more certain. No, 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 don't, don't worry, don't worry. It's like, I'll take good care of you. Like, yeah, yeah, I'll take real good care of you. And how convenient. There's one room in the hotel with four beds. How very, very convenient. Yeah, we got to cross the border. We're immigrants, guys. We're immigrants. Although I suppose we're technically going back home, so that's not really an immigrant. You know, it's uh, it's one of them things, I guess. It's one of them things. And Vivi's just like, eh, it's a hell of you all. It's like, I'm just going to go sleep. Night, everyone. Night. Was that dagger singing? It was indeed dagger singing. And dagger tries ATE. I wonder. I wonder if the castle is okay. That was quite a ruckus. Eh, don't worry. You'll be fine. It'll be fine. For now, at least. I mean, it does kind of get, like, completely destroyed later. But, eh, spoilers. You're killing the bugs? What, what, what do you mean you're killing the bugs? It's like, Regent Sid might be there. See, like, he's just jumped into our hand. You're killing the ruler of Limblim. It's like, that woman is a secret assassin. It's like, totally a secret assassin. Man, you can, you can never be too careful. You know, it's always the ones that you least expect. Okay, and Vivi's confused. How shocking. Hey, you That's right, he's walking around, guys. Maybe scaring the kids. And I suppose I'll give Gumo a letter. You have anything for me? No. Okay, no problem. Hey, how you doing, buddy? And you're fast asleep. No worries. That's I. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. We'll leave Vivi alone for now. Because we've got to do the dagger tries harder, ATE. Welcome. Can we talk for a bit? No, no. We can't talk. It's like, who wants to talk to you? Okay. Oh yeah, I can't get that chest while she's there. I have to come back later for it. No problem. No problem. Yeah, she's still there. Oh well. We'll speak to Vivi. Hey, Vivi, what's up, bro? How you doing? You met a girl? Oh, poor man, poor man. He's like, you know what those country women are like, bro? You know what they're like. Popular with all the ladies in Lindblom. 
Man, don't you just wish you had Zidane's popularity? What a chocobos. Well, you could just technically loot down the pipe. Although, granted, you did kind of get kidnapped, so... Yeah? Oh, the look on his face. He sent someone to pick it up right away. Gotta pretend I'm asleep. You know, the only person working in the... Uh, in pretends he's asleep, we could technically just sort of steal everything from the end and he wouldn't really notice or be able to do anything about it. Shame there's nothing of value in there and we've kind of already raided the chests. You're fine. You've changed the way you talk. You still sound funny though. I'll master it soon enough. No, you didn't. You sure know how to fake it. Oh, today that is something you never want to say to a woman, bro. It's like you never want a woman to fake it. It's like if you if a woman's faking it, you're doing something horribly wrong. And God help you if you realize they're faking it. It's like let, let let's just give today a moment of silence here, guys. Like he's just realized how bad he is. It's so, like, he's just had the one experience that all men don't want to ever have in their entire life. Oh, poor Zidane, poor Zidane. Don't worry though, bro. I'm sure you'll be okay sooner or later. And I need two more of them. And no more items. Okay, so, literally every single one of you should know this. But basically, there is a cotton robe trick, which pretty much involves buying the wrist item from here in Dal. Uh, Dal? Dali. Uh, basically, you want to get 99 of them, and then when you get to Lindblom, uh, you can actually buy steepled hats, and you can turn those into cotton robes. When you sell the cotton robe, you actually earn more money than you were basically spent on the items and the synthesis. So, highly, highly, highly recommend getting a 99 of them right now. Granted, we really don't need to do this, but it's like it's easy money, basically, for this part of the game. And it will come in a little handy in uh, Trino as well for the auction house. With that said, though, let's carry on. Hey, Dagger. Look at that, man. She's, she's waiting for me at the bad. Are you waiting for me, baby? Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll we'll have a great time alone together. There's yeah, something strange going on. Oh man, he, he's trying to change the subject now. He's trying to change that subject. Forget about Rusty. Leave everything to me. Exactly, it's like, forget about that tin can. And look at this man, he's, he's trying to pick up a kid in a bar. It's like... Picking up a kid in a bar. God damn you, Steiner. It's like, what were you ever taught as a knight? Look at that man. He's, he's really going hard there. Look, he's even using his status as the knights of Pluto. Oh, dearie, dearie. It's like, come on, Steiner. That's, that, that's just wrong, bro. That's just wrong. I, I can't believe you're doing that. I swear, if you didn't have shock, you would never be in my team after that. But because you have shock, I'm afraid you have to be in the uh, the final team. Yeah, let's go look for Vivi. Let's go look for Vivi. Okay. I think there was an item in the street somewhere. But I can't remember where it was. No, I don't want to go in there. I'm busy. Please leave. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I think it was in this rubble that the item was. Uh, let me just turn the speed up booster off. Okay, stop interacting with that, please. There he says. See, I knew there was an item here. I knew it. Okay. Did I hear a chocobo? You did indeed, buddy. You did indeed. And you're right. This is exactly where Vivi was. And sod's law, you can hear him crying. How typical. 
I must admit, though, that one little pipe will not supply enough oxygen to the entire underground cave. The air would be super thin. Especially with the mess down there as well. Well, obviously because of all the entrances to the cave, there are going to be many, many, many points for oxygen to get in. Which means that pipe is super redundant. Plot hole. Okay, and we're also going to be getting one of the super, super, super good items in a moment as well. We're going to be getting the Ares item, which is one of the Stelzolo coins. I just have to remember where it was. Ah, and it's right there. Super easy, super easy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need to go up there just yet because I'm going to come back here anyway. First things first, though, let's equip the Feather Hat. Because, hey, more abilities to learn. And obviously, higher stats like, you know. Uh, what was the Dane's effect on that? Ah, uh, it doesn't have an effect. Okay. So there's no point equipping add status. And instead, we'll just equip Bright Eyes so we can't get blinded. And let's go. Let's go, go, go. It is pretty obvious, man. It is pretty obvious. Let's go. So, now we're all alone in a cave together. I wonder what they're going to do together. Hint, hint. It's like we all know Zidane's a playboy. Well, yeah. I, su I suppose I should go and rescue Vivi. You know, it's like, I I'll be nice, I'll be nice. I'll, I'll rescue Vivi. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Shh, what's going on? Why is it moving? Because it's alive, it's Frankenstein! Oh, about abandoning the farm? He probably only said that because he was fighting with the mayor. Who cares? Let's box it. Oh, don't put Vivi in a coffin, guys. I'll do whatever you say, I swear. Damn yeah, bastard. Man, poor Vivi. Poor Vivi. What is it? Did you see the large barrel next to the shed? I've seen the exact same pattern on some of the barrels at the castle. Okay, it could be supplies. Or well, maybe they just buy beer from the same... Oh my god. That is two videos in a row that we have dealt with telemarketers. And I really should learn to put the house phone on silent. Well, house phone's on silent again. Man, I really, I really want to know how telemarketers get the landline numbers. It's like, it's never handed out anywhere. But yeah, somehow they found it. And now, well, we get about 10 to 15 calls a day off them. And it doesn't matter how many numbers we block, there's still more keep coming. Okay, so should we pet the choker bro? Come here, little choker bell. Come here. I'm gonna ride you in a forest later. How you doing, buddy? It's like I'm gonna be using you to dig things up later. Hey, good boy. Here's some mail for you. Thanks. No worries, buddy. It's like no worries at all. You know, you got you got mail. I'll deliver it for you. No sweat. Because that's what friends do, isn't that right, little man? First things first, though, we got to get these two chests. Because everybody knows, in an RPG, you have to literally steal everything, the uh, everything in the world. You know, it's just the way the world is, you know? It's like you see a treasure chest lying around, of course you have to open it. No, I, d I don't want to jump back up the box. I want to speak to the Moogle. Because I'm going to save. Save, save, save. And, of course, we're going to overwrite one of my old saves. No, I don't need any more hell, buddy. I don't need any more hell. Okay, more looting to do. Who doesn't like looting everywhere? 
It's fun. Let me open the box. There we go. Okay. Now, I think there's one more item in here somewhere. I think, anyway. Oh, jump, jump down the box! Down! Okay. Uh, was there any more? No. Oh, maybe. No, not that way. Oh, uh, no, it's just taking me back up there. So, yeah, there's no more items in here, then. So, away we go. It's time to rescue Vivi. The little man Vivi. The heck is that? It's a mess machine, bro. Someone's crying. Sniff, sniff. I mean, are you sure he's crying? He might just have a cold. Vivi? He's in a coffin, guys. They're gonna bury him alive. Don't worry, Vivi. I'll get you out, bro. I got you. I got you. It's all right now, little man. You're safe. Now let's go burn things. After you left, some men kidnapped me and brought me here. Don't worry, you're fine. You're fine. And they put you in that box? That's right. That's right. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Vivi. If someone tries to kidnap you again, just scream at them. I see. And Dagger's also taking lessons. I want to check out what's ahead. I know you might not be thrilled with the idea, but I want to know more too. Luke, what is that thing? It's a mess machine, I already said, didn't you hear? Alright, we'll all go together. Fine. So, let's have a look around. It's another coffin. Well, this one's empty. Okay. Now, fun little fact. This area actually has no random encounters, but as soon as you open this door, the entire area starts getting random ghost encounters. Not very fun to fight them, but, yeah, you know, there's, uh, there's items in here, so, of course, we have to go in for them. You know, it's just the way the world works. I'm going to put fast forward on new, because time save... I'll just get a dagger spamming cure on everyone. Oh yeah, I need to get a Zanane stealing for fevery boosting. And it's an ore. I'll take that, bro. I'll take that. Mist monsters. That's right, buddy. Mist monsters. One more item. There we go. Oh man, another battle. I was hoping to get in and out of there without a fight. Oh well, I guess it just wasn't meant to be though. Yeah, we'll just do this. Burn them all, man, burn them all! Yeah, I'm not gonna one-shot them both at the same time. I want more steals. I want more steals. I want Fevery to be OP as soon as I get it. I mean, I know it's probably not going to be that strong by the time I get it, but... Eh. You know, I mean, at least doing the work now means I have less work to do later on. So, there is that little benefit, I guess. There is that little benefit. Is that an egg? It is an egg. Could you imagine the size of a fried egg that you could get with one of them? I wonder what a fried egg that big would taste like. Because, I mean, surely when it's that big, like, the taste would change, right? The taste would absolutely change. Oh, he ran away after he stole my potion. God damn you. And the eggs are hatching. And they're hatching into these guys. It's Vivi. It's like Vivi's big brother's. Sorry, stay quiet. Did you say something? Nope, not me. Okay, never mind. And you know, I must admit, I'm kind of curious how a single chocobo can pull such a large carriage. And a large barrel. Like, it's one of those things, you know? 
Pardon me, I must escort a person of high rank to the castle. When will the cargo ship arrive? Man, Steiner really doesn't know how to be subtle. You're on my way. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Come on, then. Get inside your house so I can talk to you again. Hey, buddy. How about a cup? Oh, thank you. I'm not here to drink coffee. I am. I'll take a cup. I love my coffee. Who decides right or wrong? Anyone can tell. Yeah, still as green as a pickle. It's already here. They should be loading out now. Thank you. No problem, Stanner. No problem. Now let's go. Just please don't stab the princess. Again? Oh wait, no. It was Marcus who stabbed her the first time, wasn't it? You know, Dagger really is quite unlucky. I mean, she almost gets stabbed in the play. She almost gets stabbed here. She does get stabbed by Zidane at the end of the game. We just don't get to see that. You know, there's a, there's a lot of stabbing that happens. This barrel, what could be inside it? Yeah, so if you ever want to check what's inside a barrel, of course the first thing you should do is poke it with a sword. You know what I mean? How else are you going to check what's inside a barrel? You have to stab it. What in the world is going on? Is this your doing? Steiner, please. Yeah, you put him in his place, Dagger. You put him in his place. There's another town of panic. You're right, because we have a boss battle. Boss battle. And this one's super, super easy as well. So, this one pretty much only has single target attacks. So, we can cheese him while stealing. He'll also never actually kill Dagger. Like, he will never target Dagger. The only thing he will ever do to Dagger is cast Hypnotize when everyone else is dead. So, yeah. Oh, level plate first go. Nice. That's pretty nice indeed. Oh, and a Steeple Tat second go. So I just got both steals in two turns. Yep. Nice. Oh, and Vivi went into trance. I guess I'll do a double fire, because why not? And you know what? I'll let Steiner do a fire sword. Just because... Just because. Dude, seriously? This is how you use fire. No, stop killing me with fire! Stop killing me with fire! Oh man, Vivi died! Vivi died! Rest in peace, Vivi, bro! No way though, it's over. It's over. It's over! He did. See, I knew he was dead. I totally knew it. Okay, Black Holt number two. Did my mother really send him to capture me? Well, technically, she sent Zorn and Fawn, and then Zorn and Fawn sent Black Holt to get you. So, technically, no, but also technically, yes. Yeah, Stanley, you really shouldn't run across the country shouting princess. It might attract some... Uh, unsavory people and just an FYI if you want that chest there you actually have to rest at the inn uh, with that option just instead of just going straight to the airship and whoops I totally messed up there okay I'm gonna turn the fast travel off he's out cold he's not he's just faking he's faking okay Let's go. Oh wait, no. Can I get that chest just yet? Or do I have to wait until later on this too? Uh, buddy, are you going to talk? There we go. Yeah, I'm just thinking now. Can I actually get that on disc one? I don't know if I can or not. It might actually just be a disc two and... Well, disc two and later. Well, we'll soon see. We'll soon see. Because I'm about to get there again. You're about to get there again. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look, shall we? Is he still? Yeah, she's still there. So I've got to wait until uh, later. Board the airship. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I want to fly in the sky. I 
Right, let's go steal an airship. We can do it. We can do it. You're a really they look like me. Eh, not really. I mean, you're like half their size for one. Plus, you kind of have no face. Like, you literally just have, like, two eyes. So, it's kind of hard to say if they look like you, Vivi. Come on, Dagger. Get that ass up there. Oh, nice view. There's a danger just hanging, just chilling. Come on, it's not like I did it on purpose. Sure you did. You loved grabbing that ass. Let's go inside, Vivi. Oh man, Zidane's getting the cold shoulder. I get the feeling she doesn't quite trust me yet. Maybe she'll reward me with a kiss or two if I try hard enough. Mm, there is that. Zidane, what is it, something wrong? It's Vivi. Vivi? Um, um, come on Vivi, that, that's not how you talk to someone. It's like you can't just go up to someone and say, um, uh, you know, at least start with hello or something. Were you able to talk to any of them? No, it's like they don't even see me at all. Well, dude, you're like half their size, you know? Maybe they have neck problems and they can't look down. Alright, let's go steal the ship. We'll leave a dagger to look after Vivi. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, I should probably actually change gear first. And do do do. Suck shit off for the lever plate. I mean, it doesn't really do anything other than reducing ice damage, but, you know, I mean, it, it's more defense, so. We might as well. We might as well. With that said though, let's go up, because we have another boss battle, which of course means more stealing. Hey, how you doing Rusty? How you doing? You, you cool? Why are you? Where's the princess? She's on the ship? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's on. You will be hanged for the kidnapping of a member of the royal family. Enjoy your freedom while you can. Dude, I, I swear to God, I'm literally going to throw you off this airship in a minute. It's like threatening me like that. I'll throw you overboard, bro. At last, Queen Bran is sure to be pleased. Nah. However, the princess would have been left behind without the thief's aid. I shall petition for a life sentence on his behalf. Yes, that would be the honourable thing. No, it wouldn't. But that was because the crew wouldn't listen. I must run a background check on them. Nah. Nah, you won't. It is my duty as a knight. No, I think your duty as a knight is more to fight. Like, background check seems to be more like office work, investigator work. You know, things like that. You know, it's not really a knight's duty. I mean, I suppose you could put the request in. But actually doing it? Yeah, that's, that's not really for you to do. And it's waltz number three time. And we also have a very emotional cutscene for Vivi coming up. You insolent fool. Turn the ship around. I, I have turned the ship around. I shall have your head for that. Eh, chill out. Chill out, Steiner. You're the one who started this trouble. I apologize. Please wait while I take this fool into custody and turn the ship around. What's wrong? Yeah, I think they smite your breath, bro. Like, it is definitely possible they just smite your breath, that's all. So, number two was defeated by a small child. You're no match against my power. Okay, that guy's right there. Death lag. It's like, come on. Villain chuckling about you are no match against my power. Instant death flag raised. It's like any villain who says that line, you know they're gonna get absolutely destroyed. Granted though, I feel kind of sorry for the, uh, the little black, well, technically not little, the bigger black mages here. Bye guys. I do enjoy this cutscene as well, to be fair. It's a pretty nice cutscene. 
Like, it really shows the emotion that Vivi has. And when you think about, like, how old Vivi technically is, it really does help build Vivi's character out. Oh, Vivi, don't worry, bro. I'm gonna kick your ass, Waltz. I'm gonna kick your ass. What cruelty. Rawr, there's Vivi's mad shout to power up. Hey, you guys. Dagger, you gonna be okay? You fly the shit for us. Okay, dude, that's a terrible idea. Never let a woman drive. Terrible, terrible idea. Okay, now we can equip everyone else. I think so, so I'm just going to arrange the items. That's one thing I really do hate. Like, just having a messy inventory. Like, I, I know it's kind of weird, but I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, you know? I just really, really, really hate a messy inventory. Like, I super hate it with a passion. Okay, I can't really equip anything else. Uh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just optimize. So I don't really have anything for them to learn because I already did all that. Uh, do I have anything else I can equip? No, no. Oh yeah, dagger has my moonstone. Whoopsie daisy. I'm not going to be able to get that back for a long time. Well, that's, uh, that's a kick in the teeth. I definitely should have remembered to unequip that. You do look a little like a typical black mage soldier, yeah. I mean, I'm not really sure where the wings come from, but yeah. Really much like a typical black mage. And you have the typical villain uh, monologue as well. So, there is that as well. So, another boss. More steals. This time he has three steals. The silver gloves. The linen curus. And the steepled hat. Don't really care too much about the hat. Because we're going to buy 99 of them in Lindblom anyway. But I do really, really, really want the... Uh, Silver gloves and the cuirass. Oh, speak of the devil, I got the cuirass first. That's that's pretty nice to be fair. Turn speed up on, so this doesn't take forever. I'll just keep... Oh, there's the hat. Come on, come on. Three in a row, three in a row. You can do it. Come on. Nah, couldn't get it, couldn't get it. Just keep defending. That way I only have to heal a little bit. Come on today and steal it, bro. Steal it, bro. It's like, you know you want to steal it, man. Hey, got it. That should be the last one. And, yep, doesn't have anything. There we go. Now I'm just going to heal everyone up. And do do do. Okay. And then I'm just going to attack. So, small bit of information. As long as you don't touch... Oh, I forgot about that. Never mind. Never mind. Come on, baby. Get your magic off, bro. And GG. He's dead. Bye, Mr. Waltz. Thank you for the items. You scum. I exist only to kill... Wow, you failed that job, buddy boy. Oh man, looks how beat up that ship is. Oh, cutscene. Dis uh, okay, disable the speed up booster. I want to watch the cutscene in all its glory. Betrayed us, Stannard. It's all his fault. I mean, look, just because Stannard got that kill, you know. Yeah, he's broken. No, it wasn't actually powerful enough. That's why I killed him so easily. A 
And you know, since he has wings and he can fly, why does he need the airship? Like, that's that's one thing I don't really get. Well, you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. And coming up, we have Lindblom. A whole huge area for a lot of exploring. A lot of side things we can do in Lindblom as well. Including a very... <coughs> excuse me. A very, very, very missable side quest. So, if you want a 100%, do pay attention. Because the Moogle Suit side quest is super, super, super missable. Rusty's Rad is heading straight for us. Punch it, go through the gate. Don't worry. The gate won't close. It's like, this is uh, a... Well, let's just say a ship for imports that uh, shouldn't exist on any documentation. So, of course, it's going to be fast. Go, Dagger, go! You know, during the cutscene there, like, we were miles away from the gate, but it was already half closed. So, technically, they really shouldn't actually make it. Bye, heart. Go, Vivi, blow him up, bro. And pop goes the weasel. Come on, guys, you can do it. You can do it. Get in there. Damn, that's one fit gate. Go, guys, go. You know, with a small, fast ship like that, why doesn't he just fly through the balloon? And it's also kind of silly that he destroyed his own ship. Oh, well. We committed an act of terrorism. It's cool, though. It's cool. I'm sure Sid won't mind. We, we only blew up his gate, you know? It's not like we blew up his castle. That's someone else's job later on. Although I suppose technically they don't actually blow it up. It more... Well, it gets eaten. And I'm also curious, why was that airship just like sitting on the top of that mountain range? Like, there's nothing there. Like, not even a chocograph location. And I'm also curious where all these airships actually dock in Limblum. Like, there's only enough for one airship here. Well, only enough room. Why so silent, people? We made it. Cheer up. Southgate was badly damaged. It was my fault. Eh, don't worry. You're new to this whole terrorist business. She'll get used to it. I mean, why why are you worried about the cargo, Steiner? Why, why are you worrying about that? But she saved us. Thank you. What a worry, princess. I must admit, though, like, why is Steiner wearing armored shorts? Like, a suit of armor should cover the ankles and the legs as well. But it's like, his armor only goes to his waist and then he's just got like a pair of shorts on or something. And then of course he's got the, uh, the armored trainers. Zedane. Those black mages and I. Are we the same? Yep, you're all gonna die super soon, buddy. You're all gonna die super soon. No worry though, at least you can help me out on my adventure before you do croak. Master Vivi, why would those mages be the same as you? And why would it matter if they were? Rusters ride. You're an individual no matter what happens, Vivi. Let's go out to the deck of Vivi. We gotta see Limblum from the sky, it's the best. Okay, let's go be nosy.
And here we go. Great big old city. And we only get to experience a very small fragment of it. You know, if they actually remake Final Fantasy IX, similar to the way they're remaking Final Fantasy VII, I would love for Limblum to be like this absolutely massive city that you really get to explore. So, I mean, Limblum is technically like the main city in Final Fantasy IX. I mean, I know you have some of the smaller cities and you also have Alexander, well, Alexandria, but Limblum is essentially like your base, your base hub. So I would really love like a lot of detail, you know, like a lot of side quests starting here. Really, really open up the area. It's like, I would love that in a Final Fantasy IX remake. It would be so fun. Yeah, they don't call it Limblum Grand Castle for nothing. An indoor airship dock. Even how much these red rows would easily fit in here. Well, yeah, I mean, where do you think airships were made, buddy boy? Here comes the welcoming committee. I humbly request an audience with Regent Sid. You must be kidding. No member of the royal family, let alone a princess, would ever ride in such a shabby airship. And look at the company you're keeping. Right, you're fired, buddy. You're fired. It's like, I want your head. Very well, here's my necklace. Which is super easy to forge, by the way. If you weren't such a filthy looking oaf, they would not be so suspicious of us. Yes, because you're not sticking out at all. Fight, fight, fight. Come on, guys, fight. So, we have unknown visitors who wish to see the regent, and one of them is carrying a pennant that looks like a falcon claw. You are dismissed. I'll take care of this. Yeah, that's right. You better run away. And of course the regent's waiting. He's the one who organized this little kidnapping. But before we go and see the regent, we're gonna uh, we're gonna steal some uh, treasure. Because we can get this right now instead of later. And we might as well do that. We're gonna get the glass omelette and an eva. And speaking of the glass omelette, I'm going to equip that ra Oh, dagger, nice. I can only equip her items. Get all that off. And I'm also going to do the same for Steiner, because he's not going to be in the party again for a long time either. So we've completely unequipped them too. And I completely forgot to equip the glass omelette, so I will do that now. And do do do, there it is. And eh, yeah, there's a, there's no point in me equipping the moonstone just yet. Okay, and we're also gonna save. First thing says though, Magnet, because we have a letter for him. Stillskin visited me. Oh, how cute. I have a favor to ask. Okay, I'll deliver the mail for you. It's like, I I'm a nice guy that way, I'm a nice guy, you know? It's like, I'll do it, I'll do it. And save again, of course. Right, so now we're, we pretty much have to see Regent Sid and then do a whole bunch of side quests. But I am going to leave that for the next video, guys. This is where I am ending part number three. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Of course, if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button as well. And if you want to help support the channel, then feel free of becoming a member. Links are down below in the description. As always though, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.